Hi friends, um, today I'm going to talk to you all about the most discussed topic amongst each one of us and that's weight loss. Um, the moment we start hitting our 30, 35 years of age, our metabolism starts uh, dropping. And uh, in case we don't uh, uh, follow a good healthy nutrition and keep ourselves physically active, metabolism goes for a toss. So let me just explain to you in very simple language what exactly metabolism means. Uh, metabolism means the rate at which our body burns calories. So as we age, our metabolism starts dropping and uh, in case we lead a sedentary lifestyle and we are not physically active, it adds up to that. So today I'm going to share three tips um, with you all which can be followed by general population in case uh, you're looking to shed those few extra kilos off your body. Tip number one, make sure the calories that you consume are less than the calories that you expend. That means you have to eat less calories than you burn. You have to eat small portions. So suppose if your body requires 2000 calories for maintaining the weight that you have, probably you can look at uh, consuming few uh, fewer calories say for example 200 calories less that means you'll be consuming around 1800 calories and you'll be creating a calorie deficit in your diet in case you feel that you know you love to eat and you don't want to cut down on so many calories so the other way is you burn few calories extra through your um, physical activity and you eat few calories less and that's how you create a deficit. So along with your normal physical activity, you can always um, work on improving your NEAT, N-E-A-T, that is non-exercise activity thermogenesis, wherein apart from exercise, whatever you do, your body keeps burning calories through those movements. It could be as simple as eating, chatting and moving around here and there, climbing stairs or you know just uh, getting up too many times to uh, change the TV channel instead of just sitting in one place. So these are the things which will improve or increase your need. So to lose that weight we need to create calorie deficit and it's a combination of good nutrition and physical activity. Point number two, it's a good idea um, if we can recognize our physiological hunger and fullness cues. A um, lot of times uh, when we feel like eating something, we are actually not hungry, but we are bored. So for example, um, you know, you're just browsing through your phone or you're watching TV and suddenly you get this craving of e eating something. Um, please understand that uh, it's not because you're hungry that you want to eat it's probably you're bored that that you want to eat or probably you want to just you know munch on something because you're watching a movie your favorite movie or something like that so uh, very very important you need to learn to recognize those hunger cues at the same time when you eat your meal you need you should be able to actually recognize the fullness cues so in case you're on weight loss, you don't need to eat till you're 100% full, but you should eat till you're 80% full. Once you have finished your meal, whatever is in the plate, keep the plate aside and wait for 5-10 minutes and then, then decide whether you're really hungry and you want the next serving. Use a smaller plate instead of a big plate and uh, reduce on your portion size a little bit compared to what you have been eating. All this will eventually add up to creating calorie deficit. Point number three, eat less processed food. When I say processed food here, I'm not just talking about uh, the typical junk food or whatever food you get in the packets in the supermarkets. But I'm talking about food that has been gone through, that has gone through uh, multiple um, levels of processing. Say, for example, when we cook rice, we can actually see the actual form of rice. We know how rice looks like. But on the other side, if you bake a cake uh, with lots of butter in it, you really don't know how the maida or the actual form of maida look like. So that was a very uh, small example, uh, but. Uh, Whenever you see any foods or you um, encounter any kind of foods, try to identify what the actual form of that food is. So 
my point here is try to stick to real food as much as you can so these are just basic three tips that we can follow and start our weight loss journey try and keep your weight loss goal realistic and not very unrealistic so if you have a goal of losing 10 kilos in one month guys that's really unrealistic and it's all going to come back so uh, i would recommend uh, you can target anything from half kilo to one a kilo per week hope you found this video useful and uh, hope there is some hope of losing weight uh, and uh, let's all uh, wait for the next video where i will come back with some more weight loss tips for you thank you